Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be starting episode 2 of our Java 8 tutorial series. And in this episode, we're going to be learning some basic things such as defining methods and learning how to print to the console. So the first things first is all the code will be available on GitHub. So if you guys are having troubles or if you can have a hard time reading it, you can just go over there. I do have to keep it at this zoom level because we do have a side console that will eventually pop up here and that also has to be visible. And uh, the previous zoom uh, would cut it off greatly. But so the first things first is we need to define a method. And what is a method? A method is basically like a way to run something, right? It's a block of code. So look at this class here, right? So everything inside of these squiggly brackets is part of this class. But if I went ahead and tried to write public class dog, you can see that it's given us an error, right? Because we can't have another class that's not named Java 8, right? But then if we also try to do say public void cat, it's also gonna give us an error because it's expecting it to be inside of a class, which it's not. But if we move it up here, you can see that the error goes away because it is now nesting inside of a class. So when you are creating a method, the first thing you have to do is you have to define what modifier you want, right? So there's there's private, public, and protected. For the most part, you'll probably use private and public. Um, protected does have some uses. Um, it depends what you're using. But for our tutorial series, for the most part, we are going to use public. The next variable that you're going to have is a return type. And now, I'll get in the future I'll go into detail of what different return types there are for now we're just gonna go ahead and use void void means it just returns nothing right void empty returns we don't need to return anything then the next thing you need is your method name now for this we do have to name it specific so for this we have to name it main but if you're making a different method that will run inside of main, which we'll do in the future, you can name it whatever you want. And you should file camel casing when naming your methods, and we'll get into that in the future. Then the next thing is our parameters. Now, for the most part, for, well, for this, you do need to just go ahead and put string and args. And then that will tell Java that this is a runnable, oops, that this is runnable. And now you can put strings args like this, or you can put string args like this whatever whatever fits your fancy and then now if we wanted to if we go up into IntelliJ and let me just get full screen here if you press this run button here we should begin oh sorry we forgot one thing public static we need to just throw in static there so as you can see it didn't find me in class but now we threw in static and you should have this little um, play button on the side here but now we'll go into what static means in the future but just go ahead and make it public static void main string and args so now if we go ahead and press this play button and we run it uh, I have a hotkey so I don't need to so if we run it here you can see there it finished with exit code now we didn't obviously set anything up in there so we don't know what actually worked so the next thing we have to do is we're going to start printing to the console now this is done very simply if we just go ahead and write system dot out dot print line we can start writing right and we can write anything inside of here so now when you're writing to the console you can write numbers just like this right and you can also write strings so in order to write a string in Java you need to go ahead and put the quotations right because that is saying hey this is a string so we are just going to write hello YouTube so now if we if we run this again, if we just press this play button here, well, I pressed the other one, but you can press whatever play button you want. And you can see there, hello YouTube. So that is how you can print to the console. And you guys also learned a little bit about what defining a method is. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. That's all I got for you guys today. Be sure to join us in the next episode or episode three, where I'm going to start talking about variables and different types of variables that you can use. So thanks for watching.